One thing I would like to clear about the question is, uh, please, this is not a concept. This is the whole problem with life. Everybody is propounding their own concepts, their own philosophies, their own ideologies all the time. Why is it that nobody is willing to look at life the way it is? Because somewhere human beings are too enamored with their own logic, with their own intellect. Now the biggest problem on the planet is just this. See, uh, this… this cosmos, you know, today the Hubble telescope has gone and they are talking about over hundred billion galaxies, not hundred billion stars, hundred billion galaxies and now we know there are more. In such a huge vast cosmos, the solar system, our solar system is like a speck. Tomorrow morning if the soul, whole solar system evaporates, nobody's going to miss it, it's not even an account. In this speck, Planet Earth is a super speck. In that super speck, right now Chennai is a micro super speck. In that, you are a big man. That is the whole problem. <laughs> you are having concepts about the universe, concepts about creation, because somewhere you think the whole universe spilled out of your brains. No, you and me are so small here, we are like a speck of dust. If we evaporate right now, everything is going to be fine, nothing is going to change. A few people around us will cry and forget about us in three days. Everything is going to be fine. So we first of all to understand the context of who we are. This is not a concept. Who the hell are you to even think up a concept about this universe? Because you are… you are a micro minute speck. If you can perceive something of this, it's fantastic. So that's why I said the whole system of yoga, there are no concepts, there are no philosophies, there are no ideologies, there are no belief systems, only methods to enhance your perception because only what you perceive is real, the rest is all made up in your head.